Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 13. In this XAR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to use the solo mode for layers to show only a specific layer and hide all the other layers. We'll also be going over how to lock and unlock layers. We'll also go over how to use the icon that looks like an eye to show or hide individual layers one at a time. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and go to the page and layer gallery to the right of your screen and place your cursor over that to reveal that particular page. And sometimes if it doesn't work when you place your cursor over it, just left click on it. But it should normally come out when you place your cursor over it. I just know sometimes that when you place your cursor over the page and layer gallery it doesn't always work so sometimes you may have to left click it but if it did come up no problem and the first thing that you'll see here is your index page which is what comes up by default and you'll notice you can't see the layers and if you can't go ahead and click the little arrow that's to the left of this page like little thumbnail that you see here and once you left click on that it will reveal your mouse off and mouse over layer. We're going to go ahead and select the mouse off layer and then once you select that it will highlight it indicating that the blue rectangle I'm sorry it will indicate that it's selected because of the blue rectangle that's behind the mouse off layer. And before we do anything else let's go ahead and lock this panel by going to the upper right hand corner and clicking on the icon that looks like a thumbtack up here and once you've done that, let's go ahead and go to our toolbar and draw a quick shape. It doesn't matter what color just or what type of shape. Just draw the first quick shape. And I'm going to go to my color editor and I'm going to actually give it some color. And then I'm going to draw a few more rectangles. And again, it doesn't matter what color. Just try to give them each a little bit of a different color. Okay, so there's my first set of rectangles. And I'm going to create one more layer. So let's go back to our panel over here for the page and layer gallery and click on new layer. And we're going to name this first layer. And once you've named that, let's go ahead and drag this layer between the mouse off and mouse over layer. And if you place your cursor over the mouse off layer, you'll see that all the objects that we've drawn so far is on that layer. But now that you have the first layer created, make sure you have that selected, which is indicated by the blue rectangle. And once you have that, let's go ahead and go to our quick shape tool again and pick any shape you want and kind of try to overlap it. The, the quick shapes that you draw for this one, try to overlap it just a little bit over the shapes that we drew for the mouse over layer. I mean, I'm sorry, for the mouse off layer. So try to make the next object that you draw overlap the first set of quick shapes that you drew. And I'm going to change the color of this uh, rectangle just so it has a different color than what's on the bottom. And then draw another quick shape. And again, try to make it overlap the, the shapes that you drew on that mouse off layer. And I'm going to again give it a different color slightly. Probably give it a brighter green so it's easy to see the difference between the layers. And then go to your selection tool to deselect the, the quick shapes and then you can click off anywhere in the blank space on your work document. And once you do that, let's go ahead and go back to the page and layer gallery. And if, and if you look at the mouse off layer, you'll see that we have three rectangles and it shows us what color those are. That's our first layer. And then if you go to the, well, that's our mouse off layer, I'm sorry. If you go to the first layer that we, so we gave it the name, you'll see that we have two rectangles, a brown one and a green one, or whatever color that you drew. So those are our two layers that we created. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the first layer and have that selected. Actually, I'm going to select the mouse off layer. And then I want you to look at the first layer, though you'll see that to the right of it there's a little s and that stands for solo and the reason I highlighted the mouse off layer is because when it's highlighted blue for the first layer it's hard to see that s there on the screen but you could you could just select the first layer like that and then click the s 
but I did it like this you know I selected the mouse off just because I want to make sure that you can see that S icon there but the S for solo mode stands for just basically making all the other layers not visible and only making that one layer you have selected visible so go ahead and click that S icon for the first layer and when you click that it will show only the rectangles that we drew on that layer or whatever quick shape you drew and if you go back to your page and layer gallery and place your cursor over the icon it looks like a page, a page, couple of pages stacked on top of each other you'll see that it shows a brown and green rectangle so the solo icon uh, basically allows you to isolate this specific layer maybe you want to do some work specifically with just these objects and not the other objects on the other layers this is very helpful in helping you isolate it especially if you have a lot of stuff going on within your workspace so let's go ahead and go back to the page and layer gallery area and left click on that icon that turned red the little s and when you left click that it'll turn blue and basically blue means that it's not in solo mode when it's turned red like this if you left click it that means that we're in solo mode to only edit that specific layer so let's go ahead and left click that and disable it so that we can see all the layers uh, so now you know how to use the solo mode let's go ahead and show you how to to lock a layer and let's go to the first layer again actually let's select the mouse off layer so that you can see the icon you'll see a little icon that looks like a lock that you could put on maybe you know a locker or on your bike looks like a little a little lock icon and that's the icon you're going to click and again if you wanted to you could select the first layer but I didn't because it has a blue rectangle behind it it makes it really hard to see but go ahead and left click that lock layer for the the lock icon for the first layer and when you lock that you won't be able to move any of the objects on the first layer so if you place your cursor over the the first layer to see what those objects you have are on there over the icon that looks like a bunch of paper stacked on top of each other you'll see that I have a brown and green square and if I try to move this brown square it will not move however if I place my cursor in a position where it overlaps with the layer that's under it the mouse off layer I'm able to move that object so you can move objects that are underneath that layer in proportion to the objects that are above it so this is very useful if you have objects that are related to one another and you need to position it around that that uh, top layer the first layer that we have so if you need to align objects on the first layer with what objects on the mouse off layer you can by using the lock option to lock certain layers so the layers beneath it are not locked that's why we're able to move those objects but we can't move like for example you can't move this green square because it's on the first layer it's locked but the object beneath it the blue square even though it's underneath this green rectangle you can still select it because that layer is not locked even though it's overlapping or under underlapping the green green rectangle if that's the proper way to say that <laughs> but I think you get the point that you can you can move objects underneath it since that layer the, the objects underneath it are on a layer that's not locked so let's go ahead and unlock that layer by going back to your page and layer gallery and left clicking on the lock icon and let's go ahead and create another layer by going to the new layer button and we'll name this one second layer and again you can name this whatever you want I'm just naming it that to make it easy to keep track of and let's move that right beneath the mouse over layer and it'll be right above the first layer and with that layer selected let's go ahead and draw some more quick shapes and again it doesn't matter the color but I try to give it a different color just to kind of separate the the quick shape so you know what is what and it's not as confusing I'm gonna probably make this like a I don't know maybe make it a strong red yeah that's easy to separate the other colors alright so if, once you draw those qu quick shapes on the second layer let's go ahead and click on the icon that looks like an eye and I selected the first layer so that you could see the second layer without the blue rectangle behind it same principle that I've been explaining within this tutorial is you know it's kinda hard to see it on the screen so that's why I don't select it directly 
But normally you would just select second layer and then pick pick the icon that you want. But in this case I'm going to select first layer so that you can see the second layer without the blue rectangle behind it. Go ahead and click the eye that looks like an icon on the second layer and you'll see that over here the objects you had on the screen are now missing. And I'll click it again just to show them. When I unclick, when I left click it, it shows the icons or the objects that are on the second layer. When I left click it again, it hides it. So that hides and shows that layer. And you'll see that you still see all the other layers that we created. Whereas with the solo solo mode, it hit every layer except for the layer that you had selected. And if I wanted to delete, the, or I'm sorry, if I wanted to hide the mouse off layer, I would just left click the eye icon for the mouse off layer. And you'll see that the objects that we have on that layer is now hidden. So that's how you use the solo mode to isolate layers. And that's how you use the, the eye icon to hide or show layers individually. And you also, that's how you use the lock icon to lock or unlock a layer. So that should help you with managing your layers a little bit more. There's some other things that we could cover as well and I may make an additional tutorial to help you better understand how to work with layers and the importance of using layers when you're designing an Xara Web Designer. It's not absolutely necessary but if you want to make some you know really cool websites a lot of times if you want to separate yourself from from others using layers can help you create some pretty unique designs within Xara Web Designer. So that's the end of this tutorial. I won't hold you any longer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to send a, a message to us on YouTube. Don't, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if it was very helpful in helping you learn how to work with layers a little bit more. And again, thanks for viewing the video and have a great day.